video is going to be on a product that I think all of us gurus who have been wanting to do a review on this product have been having the same problems with actually reviewing it. Now the product I'm going to review is the CoverGirl Lash Perfection Mascara. Now initially when you look at the mascara, it's not very attractive. And I don't know about you guys, but that kind of irritates me. Like, I want an attractive looking mascara, number one. But besides that, I want to go ahead and try the product itself because I heard some good things about it. So I went ahead and I tried the product, and basically the wand is just like your average rubber wand. The kind that you've been seeing, the kind that have become way more popular, just your average looking rubber wand, except for it's not quite as big as the Lash Blast. It's uh, smaller than that one. Um, initially when you see the mascara, you're like, okay, this is just going to be a mediocre mascara. That's at least what I thought. So with time, I keep saying I want to make a video about this mascara. Like, I just keep saying I want to make this video. But I keep getting mixed thoughts about it. Okay, now hear me out. When you first use this, this is a great product. Do not get me wrong. It's a great, great, great product when you first use it. It lengthened my lashes. It added volume. Like, literally, my lashes were vavoom. They were huge. But then after a while, they started to not look as good, meaning like, like the first week they were great. By the second week, they weren't as nice. And the reason why is because this product, for some strange reason, runs out really quick. And I don't know why. It, it's so irritating because I've never had that happen. Like I've had like a mascara run out, but not so fast. So immediately I was kind of turned off by that. I'm like, why is it running out so fast? Why is it dry up? And I'm still on the first one. And I have this in like a haul video. I don't know which haul, but I do have a haul video where I bought this. So I don't know. I'd say it's been a couple months that I've had it. And I don't know. I haven't wanted to buy a new one because I'm like, well, the new one's going to do the same thing. It's just going to run out. So I've been listening to other gurus talk about this, and they all say the same exact thing. So I know it's not like just mine. I know every one of these do the same thing. So CoverGirl, if you end up watching this video, Honestly, like add more product or maybe change the formulation so it doesn't dry up as fast because I love the mascara itself. It's really great, but it dries up too fast and I, I don't like that. I think that's a little bit annoying, but if we want to go about the product itself and if I recommend it, I do recommend it. I do really, really like the product and I do honestly wear it every single day so I don't want to be a hypocrite by saying oh yeah it's not a good product because it dries out because honestly it is a good product it's just once it starts drying out you have to apply way more coats for it to like even do any type of justice so lately I've been using this and pairing it with a purple lash blast um sorry there's like a lizard on my window but Anyways, I've been pairing it with that. I don't feel like the formulation is right for this one, but it doesn't matter. I still really do like this mascara. So if you guys don't mind having to repurchase it every, like, month, um, then I definitely recommend this mascara because it is really, really good. The brush is very good. I think that's the main thing about this mascara is the brush. So if you guys know of any other mascaras that have the same exact brush as this one, let me know because I really like it, and I'm just a little turned off by how quick it runs out, and that bugs me. So... Anyways, that's my review on this. I hope you guys found it a little bit helpful if you guys were interested in buying this. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everyone.